Beaten and bruised while catching a late night ride, a man tells us a routine trip on the Metrolink ended with a stranger attacking him. It is the latest in a series of assaults we've reported on Metro. Well, now the victim is only telling Justin Andrews his story and getting answers from Metro on the promise to protect passengers. Justin. Corey Sam, it was like any other night for John Lansing. He says he jumped on the Metrolink train when out of nowhere some guy randomly beat him up. He says it happened somewhere between this Cortex stop and downtown St. Louis. Tonight, he's demanding Metro add security on every single train. A black eye and bandages tells the story of what John Lansing says he experienced Tuesday night on a Metrolink train. He just come around with the rock and hit me and jumped off the train. That's how Lansing says the attack ended, but it began when Lansing says a guy walked on asking to buy a beer. Once he declined, the suspect started hitting and kicking Lansing. And so I turned around and get the elf away from me now. Just get away. This attack is not the only one First Alert 4 has covered recently. Back in October, we were the only station there when St. Louis Circuit Court Judge David Mason described to police how an angry man tossed a liquid on him. It was enough in there to wet me pretty much head to toe. Crime on the Metro Link has been a crucial issue for years. Back in June, by state development told First Alert 4 it has plans for riders to feel more secure, which includes doubling the number of video cameras and adding metal detectors. Metal detectors, fine, you're going to find knives and guns. What about the rocks? What about stuff like that? I asked by state for an update on the metal detectors and were told they've been doing trials recently at North Hanley and Fairview Heights stations. We also got a statement reading in part, it was determined we needed more signage to accompany these trials, so signage and other materials are currently being created. Lansing says metal detectors are not enough. I'd like to see more security on the trains themselves, not standing around on the platform. Now, Lansing says if a security guard was on the train, he believes none of this would have happened on yesterday. Meanwhile, we know Metro does have a $52 million plan when it comes to security upgrades. We're told those should be complete by 2025. We're live at the Cortex station tonight. I'm Justin Andrews, First Alert 4. Justin, thank you. And another crime alert.